Hello there, and welcome back to another Thunderous Productions video. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And welcome back, guys, to the Space Shuttle 2 tutorial part 2, that is. Uh, I wanted to come back and make a second part to this. Originally, I hadn't planned on it. Um, I was actually going to put some of this stuff in the end of the main tutorial, uh, but it got late. I was pushing to get that one out, and I was a couple weeks behind. So I just I wanted to get the tutorial out, and uh, I felt like a couple couple spots in the tutorial might have been rushed just a little bit, especially right towards the end. But uh, anyways, the tutorial is up. Uh, obviously, this is <laughs> fucking part two. <laughs> but anyways, um, so yeah, I wanted to go over the flat version. Uh, I do have a flat version of the shuttle. And these are just very, very slightly different before the, the, the finished design that we had in the, uh, the main tutorial, which is this one over here. Uh, this is my tutorial world. There was the original shuttle. Uh, I, I still have that. And the wings are a lot smaller, and this was a lot smaller. And this was just a cobble fuck of a mess. <laughs> but actually, we're going to be going inside of this one because that's the one I put the interior in. And this was the original... Uh, solid rocket boosters and the fuel cell so it's a lot smaller than uh, than what I actually ended up with um, hopefully you guys don't want a tutorial on the smaller one uh, this one should fit on the Xbox god damn it <laughs> and then uh, also too I want to go over the the bottom booster parts on the orbiter because uh, again that was right towards the end of the video and things got a little squirrely uh, right during that part and I wanted to give everybody a really good look I know this is this is flat here but it's easier to see uh, I wanted to count out some blocks that way you knew exactly where this this was supposed to go in and how it was supposed to set inside the back of the uh, the creeper so anyways on uh, on the rockets we went up three and then we should have white solid blocks and it should be and it should just wrap right around the the outline of the main booster so as you can see if you just uh, go on the inside and outline this on the fourth block on each one and then this is what it should look like and we're looking straight up on it now if uh, if you're at the end of the tutorial and you got really confused on this part uh, the black wraps up and it stops here so you'd have three one 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 and I'm, I'm gonna count some blocks on this uh, this part two of the uh, tutorial just so again uh, I just I felt like shit I didn't think I wasn't a hundred percent satisfied so and, uh, and and that's what I do if I'm not satisfied with something uh, I'm gonna fix the damn thing but anyways the middle you have five blocks here and then that opening right here in the middle that we kind of struggled with uh, right about three quarters into the the orbiter that's what that's supposed to look like when you look up on it and then on the back side it's just solid black and it just goes through everything just continues all the way through this is the only two white or three white blocks that you see underneath now when we was looking down at it from the inside again all we did was just well all you need to do is pull the boosters through just like that and there's uh, the main blocks that we put in there was also I think well, no they weren't there yeah I just run them through yep okay and then on the inside again it, it trims out like that and then you have a black outline and it goes down here and this should be the bottom part of your wings or uh, you know it goes out to your wings and all that good shit so I'm gonna kind of roll back here a little bit and you guys if you need to pause the video here I'm sure I'm almost sure somebody's gonna have uh, some problems with this uh, just because like I said during the editing process <laughs> I, I didn't feel like it was it was 100%. So I'm just giving everybody another look, and I'm not sure why there's a black block right there. I don't. I think that's supposed to be white. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be white. <laughs> but anyways, so that should be a really good look. I'm trying to pan around this just as best as I can, and then and of course this is where the wings went out. I think there was like seven blocks here, and then it went up uh, six, six, four, some kind of shit. Uh, so that's where that was. There's the top of the wing. And uh, we're going to count out these blocks here. Uh, again, uh, I spent a lot of time on this part in the tutorial. And again, I don't think uh, that that might have been covered the way it should have. But we'll get to that here in just a minute. I want to go inside the flat order. And again, like I so said, this is my older design. 
It was the, the very first design. Uh, just to get, kind of give you guys some ideas on how to lay this out if you're going to try to do this in a flat version, uh, which would be really cool. So anyways, uh, we just we kind of walk in uh, one, two, three, four steps in, and then we have a solid wall right here. One, two, three, three, and it's four high. And that's the top of the creeper here, so it should, should work out pretty good. Uh, again, like I said, this is just probably slightly different than the other one. Uh, so, but I'm counting the blocks anyways, just so you can see them. And then there's a, a block here, obviously, and then obviously uh, another block here. And I'm going to pick up this white one because underneath there's a birthing area, and uh, and we're going to go down to that. And we tried to uh, put a vertical uh, uh, s sitting station <laughs> in the other one. And uh, when I go into my Build a Better World, we'll look at that. But this is what it looks like in uh, in the flat version. Of course, uh, also we have all we have is levers and a button. And, uh, and that's it. You can switch this out to uh, item frames and put something in there, make it look like, you know, like I did in my train tutorial, if, if you saw that. Uh, so you can do something along those lines. And then, of course, you know, some backrests behind the chairs. And then I've got another seat here and here. And try to give everybody a really good look. The layout is really close to the other one. I think, like I said, the only thing that I changed from this one to the other one is the wings and uh, the, the aft stabilizer, the vertical stabilizing fin. Uh, they just looked awful small to me. I believe the rest of it is the same. And then there's two more seats back here. So I tried to do two, four, six seats. And I, I think there's actually seven fucking astronauts, but I don't think it fucking matters. <laughs> and then you're going to have an access tunnel out into... Uh, your main cargo area. Now on this one, this particular design, I don't have the uh, uh, the space lock like I did in the tutorial, like I was showing you. Uh, again, like I said, this was my first design, so uh, it was meant to be flat, and I built it flat. So uh, off to this side and underneath, this was the birthing area, and there's not a lot of room to really fuck with shit. There's enough to put uh, about six beds in because we had six chairs, so. And I threw some buttons to make these look like some sort of like a space locker and then a place to sit down and put your shoes on. <laughs> I don't know. And, of course, you got to have a shitter. And so in here, this is the shitter and uh, a little button to flush it into the storage tank and uh, shoot it out into space. <laughs> Flying shit. And then, and then over here, this is supposed to be the shower. So uh, real simple design. Uh, it's, it's very, very small and very tight, uh, but it can be done. And that's what it looks like in the flat version. And then the cargo hold, uh, you can put all kinds of shit in here. You can put a crane, um, a, a, a fucking, what did I have? A satellite and a moon crawler in my vertical one. And we'll look at that here in just a few minutes. Uh, but there's a lot of room in here, a lot more than what it actually looks like, to, uh, to put some really cool shit in here. Now the back, I sealed this off, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Captain Obvious. <laughs> but anyways, um, I I'm not really sure what this is. I just wanted to uh, make some sort of an access so you could look in here and see, like, the engine for all the boosters. And I did connect these to each booster, so it looks like each one has its own uh, separate whatever-the-fuck engine <laughs> and fuel lines and all that good shit. So it just looks like a big uh, engine compartment. And down here, so you can see it here too. And there's just enough room probably to put some sort of like cabinets and things over here for storage area. And then on the other side, oops, up the fucking ladder. And over here, this is, uh, you know, like a chemical room, you know, where they test uh, moon rocks and all that good shit. I don't know. I was, you know, being creative here, guys. <laughs> you can make it whatever you want. And uh, again, hopefully you can. You know, kind of see, I'm trying to pan around, uh, and I try not to go too fast, but I don't want another three-hour part two tutorial, right? So, anyways, that is the Flat Creeper one, and I hope you guys like that and got some really cool ideas. Uh, we've got some more coming up. Let's go over to, uh, let's see, where were we going to go? Uh, we got the green one. We went over the boosters, and we went over the original ones, and there's the green Creeper. Uh, probably most of you saw in the Build It Better series uh, when I first released uh, this uh, promo video or whatever and then I put the uh, obviously the creeper by itself and that was before I made the big creepers on it. I, I thought those were too small they just didn't say pow to me so <laughs> we made them bigger and this was the I believe the final fucking design is this right here 
So anyways, hopefully you got a chance to count everything in the video. If not, uh, I'm going to go over it again just so, I mean, you can skip over this part if, if, if you need to, but I want to count all these blocks. That way you guys can get this thing perfect because, uh, you know, I just, I, I want you to have, I want, I want it to look just like fucking mine. So anyways, if, uh, if we start right back here at this back corner, uh, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then, of course, one behind it is eleven. And then, of course, this is nine because it's one less than that. And then you had three that you could see out here that were too high. So you had two out, and then diagonal, and then two in. So this kind of mirrors the other side of it. And then this wraps up, and from the bottom it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve to this block right here and and we did go over the little L patterns that dropped so that would be 11 and it's even with this one here and they just as you can see they step down one block at a time from each other to this point right here and then this little corner is uh, is just a little pyramid three two one and again from this corner if we count up the layers one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's 15, 14, 16, 15, 14, 17, 16, 15, 14, and 15. So hopefully that should help everybody out again with this part and also the, the main boosters on the orbiter uh, again because uh, those really bothered me. So let's go ahead and we're going to jump on over to the Build It Better World real quick and I'm going to show you the vertical version for those who are just following just the, the tutorial and not uh, my other series that way you can get some vertical ideas. So we'll be right back. Alright guys this is my Build It Better World. Again for those that aren't following the series you're missing a lot of good shit. <laughs> no this is, my, this is my main world guys with it's got all my, uh, my Enterprise and all my ships and all that good stuff in it. Uh, if, you, if you haven't checked out the series, please check it out. It's got, got a lot of really, really good stuff over here to look at. And also the link is in the description for the download. Uh, but anyways, I want to go over uh, the Creeper, the final uh, version, or so to speak. I want to go over the tower a little bit because I know people are going to say, well, can you do a tutorial on the tower? So I'm going to spend a few minutes with uh, some world edit, and I'm going to pick up some dimensions for you. Uh, you know, well, how far away from does you know the orbiter does it actually have to be? Uh, but anyways, I want to go up inside first and show you the inside. Uh, again, some of you have probably already seen this, and hopefully some of you haven't. <laughs> so anyways, we're going to go into the main center of the tower. And I'm using command blocks for the teleports, and uh, which is just an awesome fucking update for the PC. I'm really glad we finally got those. Um, but anyways, now this is this is different. Uh, we're gonna have to go down and uh, let you look at it again. There's the uh, forward windows right here, and I've got a ladder obviously here, and then two chairs. So mine is uh, definitely different than the end of the tutorial. I've put a ladder on the back side instead of the front side like we did in the tutorial. And, uh, whoops, I'm on the, uh, the stairs. Whoops. <laughs> Get off the stairs, asshole. All right, now fly. There we go. All right, so here I've put the backrest. I tried to make it as close as possible to the flat version. And um, it's, the, it's kind of there. So there's the, the main controls again. And I've got two seats on each side here. And then two sitting back here with some backrests. And again, the ladder that you know, I showed you to make in the main tutorial, I put here. But on the first version, it didn't make any sense because, you know, if, you, if this was flat and it was in space, you wouldn't be walking or need a ladder right here would be in the way. So it would make more sense to put it on the ceiling. So I put that on the ceiling. <laughs> All right, so here is the spacewalk. Uh, mine ended up being three deep. Uh, the tutorial ended up being two deep. Uh, some lighting, so you can figure out maybe how to do some lighting. There's the main cabin. So if you were looking at it like that, down here in the back corner on the uh, horizontal one, this was where the door was to go through. And obviously we can't put doors, so I put like a, like a hatch going up through and made it turn. And then I just started stacking beds this way. Uh, again, because <laughs> the beds, that's the only fucking way they go. And I put two more over here, and I forgot to put in some ladders right there. And then the shitter 
is up here. So just off to the side, there's a shitter, and that was uh, the shower, I guess, but it's on its side, so I can't put the uh, the lever in there and make it look quite right. So, but anyways, that's that's kind of what we ended up with. It was too wide, and, uh, and that's what we got. So anyways, down through here, back into the spacewalk area, over in the far corner, this is the bottom of the orbiter. Uh, I've got a ladder going all the way down inside. And apparently, this is not my original save. Uh, I've got it backed up, and my fucking... Where's my fucking shit? God damn it! Basically, what you're going to be seeing here for interior design, uh, I, I don't remember if... What the fuck was that? I don't remember if I've showed any of this yet uh, in the last in the last Build It Better episode, but I've got some things on the inside now. I've got a big crane, and I've got a moon vehicle and a satellite. And I know it's really kind of fucked up hard to see, so I'm going to try to get the right angle here so you can see it. Come on, Jag, get moving. There we go. All right, so there's the satellite. And goddamn fucking whore. There is the moon vehicle. And uh, again, just a really quick, simple design nothing really fancy I just I wanted a moon vehicle and I wanted something that would fit uh, inside the uh, the main hull area here and uh, and I and I definitely wanted a crane all right well wow that was a big fucking surprise uh, <laughs> I've got a lot of world saves I back up my world I don't know how many fucking times I've got a copy here I got a copy on my other uh, desktop I've got one on my laptop and um, apparently this this world here did not get the inside so i'm gonna have to go back and and put the inside into this one here because this is my main world um i probably splice something into this video <laughs> showing the other stuff that i was going to show you in the cargo bay so anyways that really did not go the way that i wanted it to all right so we're gonna take a look at the uh where you enter into the spaceship and right here i was using the chiseled stone and some iron blocks. So I'm going to go ahead and use some world edit here and get you a length from the side of the ship to the side of my building over here. And it's 27 blocks. So from here to here it's 27 blocks and that's to this main piece on the building and I'm going to show you the base here in just a second. Alright so from the middle of the creeper we're going to take a measurement here and to the middle of the building, which is right there, is not 344 blocks. Just pause two. Oh, dumb ass. Dumb ass. You're so stupid, Jag. Dumb ass fucking Jag. Well, ain't no wonder it was 344 fucking blocks. Alright, right there's the center. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and take another measurement. <laughs> like 344 blocks my ass! <laughs> All right, let's see what it is. It is 43 blocks. So from the center of the creeper to the center of my building. And my building, I believe, is square. So, well, <laughs> we're picking up a different measurement. Hang on a minute. All right, it's 23 that way. And it's, like I said, it's probably the same the other way. And over here... And it is. It's 23 by 23, and that's the main base. And in here is 21 by 21 and 19 by 19. And I believe, like I said, this out here from corner to corner is, is 21 by 21. Each level is exactly the same, and they are all... I know you guys are like, God damn it, Jag, you didn't have this fucking planned out like you always do. Of course I did. 13 high. So we've got 13 in the middle. It is... Uh, 21 by 21 I think that's what we just said 
and 13 high and then we just put this trim block around each section so as you can see it's 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 all repeated five sections high uh, starting all the way down here uh, the bottom was slightly different uh, I think I went up two blocks before I started the main uh, run so from the very bottom to the very first layer is 28 blocks so yeah it's it's, it's almost double all right <laughs> and then is what I did is you know I split it in half and I put some iron bars in the middle and made an X and then I dropped uh, anvils all the way down the back side of each tower now there's uh, there's four separate towers so I obviously I built one and then I just I MC edited the other ones because it was just fuck that it would have taken a year to do all that shit but you guys have time to do it <laughs> <laughs> all right and then into the center again so right here is your corner and then another corner is right beyond this wall uh, after you lay everything out and you get your center you can put in your your main elevator if you have teleports if not then you can uh, on Xbox version you can put like a winding staircase going up or just make a ladder going up so anyways that is my tower and my building next to it and what it looks like in my world so hopefully that should give you guys some ideas on how how to build a tower and i've given you hopefully a lot of um, different angles of this so that you can stop the video where you need to and uh and people aren't going to scream for a tutorial on that tower because <laughs> it's, it's really not that hard if you build one layer you can build the rest of them and then the rest of it is just, of course just lining it up to the orbiter really really simple so that is it guys uh, hopefully that was a pretty good walkthrough and you guys got a lot out of it you get some uh, some really good ideas so like always guys i appreciate you watching remember to rate comment subscribe follow me on twitter and i'll catch you guys on the next one later